Hi, welcome to the development series of Circuit Unleashed. Circuit Unleashed reimagines the old Circuit Online with the power of Unreal Engine 5. The project aims to showcase what next-gen graphics could bring to such an old game, as well as adding new game elements to the mix. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Where do we start? Well, the first challenge would be to import all the landscapes of Circuit Online into Unreal Engine 5. Unreal Engine 5 has a system called Wall Partition, in which we can create huge landscapes, which is great since Circuit's landscape is quite big. First of all, it's good to get a basic understanding of how Circuit's landscapes are built up. Circuit uses sections, which are rectangles scattered all over the landscape. Via several tools, we can export the landscapes from the game into a 3D software of a liking. We can then change the landscape mesh into a height map. Height maps are basically just black and white textures where white resembles the far highest point of the landscape and black the far lowest point of the landscape. Doing this for each section of the landscape will give us landscape tiles ready to be imported into Unreal. And if we do that, we get this as a result. And I have to say, it looks awesome. We can already see like the, the shapes of Hotan. We can see the shapes of Constantinople, of Yangon. The next step is to place all the 3D meshes in the map. Since I'm not a programmer and placing it by hand is not really time efficient, I got in touch with Aurus. He's a developer who worked on recreating Silk Road in his own game engine. He gave me a full list of all the game methods, including coordinates and rotation values for me to convert into Unreal Engine 5's coordinate system. As simple as it may sound, it took me quite a while to figure it all out and placing all the 27,000 assets into the game. After texturing and placing all the assets, this is what the result looks like. Uh, and I have to say, this is coming to life. All right, so on to the next step. And this is quite a hard one, texturing the landscapes. For this I got in touch with Dexter Sol. He explained to me how the Silk Road's landscape materials are built up. Each single landscape section is split up into 36 pieces. And each piece has up to 5 different texture passes. Each pass has a special mask and uses up to 4 different channels. Without further ado, you can imagine that it becomes quite a heavy material with all the stuff that's going on there. In the end, one single landscape material has over 4,000 different variables, all being set by a converter I wrote inside of Unreal Engine 5. To optimize performance, I am using runtime virtual texturing, which gives me a very decent 60 FPS even within the editor. Adding voilage was quite an easy thing to do uh, because I created a special weight map for the landscape. Everything that is turned red in this debug window resembles the places where grass should be placed. And via this uh, method, I can procedurally place grass all over the map. Since Zilgrass foliage is kind of outdated, I am using Project Nature foliage to bring better aesthetics to the game. With the runtime virtual textures, I can even blend the colors of the grass with the landscape, so it all fits in nicely. Up next is the character development, and that is something I spend quite a lot of time on. A lot of things are happening on the character side of the game. Think about the player's input, like walking around. Sigurd has a click-based system, uh, which I wanted to recreate in Unreal Engine 5. Another thing is locomotion. That is something Sigurd doesn't have. In short, locomotion is a system that tells the character skeleton where the feet should be placed with inverse kinematics. For example, when the character stands on a steep hill, both his feet should be touching the ground instead of clipping through it. I also worked on a clothing system where when you equip a certain piece of equipment, a body part mesh uh, will be hidden. I also worked on an animation system that checks what character you are using and what kind of weapon you have equipped. And based on that, it uses different animation sets. A good friend of mine, Fanning, worked on several skill effects uh, like Grasswalk Flow, and I have to say, they look awesome inside of the uh, Unreal Engine 5 game engine. 
Yeah, so last but not least, I want to show you some gameplay without any commentary, just for you to enjoy. Uh, I'll see you in the next episode where I will cover the login system and much more. So uh, thank you and enjoy the footage and until uh, next time. Bye bye.